So let's talk about some file management here. And right now I'm looking at Jenny's drive. And uh, so mine says P, but ordinarily if you were looking at yours, you would be in your M drive. And so here's Jenny's creating new files. And I want to show you now that when we go in here, you can see that we have a lot of files here. And so we want to do a little organizing. And the first step that I'm going to do to organize is I'm actually going to come to the view and I can see that Jenny has her preview pane on. I'm going to turn that off for now. And I'm also going to put these into a list view. And the reason is just because you could see that when I was in detail view that I have to scroll to see all the files. And I don't need to do that. I don't need all these details right now, like the type and the date modified. I just need the list, which only gives me the file names. And so right now I'm going to clean this up, and then I'm going to unclean it and let uh, Jenny do it herself. So the first thing is I want to organize these. And so I'm just going to go to the home. I'll do it the long way here. I'll do a new folder from here. And I'm going to make an underline file. And I just misspelled that. So I'm going to click on it once and click on it a second time. And that puts me into rename mode. And I'll just take that L out and I'll press the enter key. Now, just so you know, I could have come up here and clicked rename. And that would put me also into rename mode. And, but I, I did it. I always do it one click to two little slow clicks. Anyway, because Jenny has done a good job on her files here, I can see that the U for underline is here and that they're all in order because she's she's done the names perfectly. Now, to get all these files, in this case, I could do a few things. I could actually click and hold and drag around this block of files because they just happen to be perfectly organized for me here that I can drag around them and then I'm going to drag one of them I'll pick four just so you can see that when I bring four over to underline I'm actually moving all 12 of them and it tells me move to underline and when I let go they will all be in there and now I'm going to make a new folder so I'm going to right click this time click new folder and I'm going to make a folder for the color files that we did. So those are creating new files color. And you can see that these all are named beautifully here, which means that they're all in order. Now I want to show you that if I click on the first one, it is selected. And if I want to get down to 12, I can't just click on it or it's only selected. It just selects the one I click. But the trick is that if all these files are contiguous, meaning they're all adjacent to each other, so right after each other, and these files are, all I need to do to select contiguous files is press and hold the Shift key. So I've pressed and held it. And I'm keeping it pressed down, and I'm going to click number 12 here. And everything in between becomes selected. And now I'm going to pull these into the color folder and release. So I'm dragging them. When I get over the folder, it says move to color. I release the mouse, and they will all go in there. Okay, and so you would continue on make a folder for effects, go and find the effects. They start at 1, shift click number 12, they're all selected, pull them in to effects, and the last one of course is character formatting. You would make that folder and then uh, and then pull them in. Okay, now I'm going to undo this, and you might as well see how I undo this. There's a few different ways I could do this, but I'm going to do it this way. I'm coming into color. I'm just going to quickly select them all. I'm going to cut them out, and then I'm going to come back 
here and I'm going to paste them and back out they come and you see I cut them so there isn't anything left in color now people don't usually feel comfortable to cut them because if you forget to paste them you'll lose them but I'm comfortable to do that so I'm coming into effects now I'm going to use control A which is select all just to show you that's a fast way that you can select all your files it selects all your text if you're in a document but if you're in a file explorer window it selects all your files so again I'm going to cut these now I can come up here and do a cut but I think I'll do a control X just to remind you that that is the shortcut for cut and when I do control X you can see they all they're all ghosted out a little bit right they're sort of transparent when I come back here I'm going to well I'll paste them off the ribbon here just so you can see that okay and it moved everything from the effects folder you can see that it's empty and I'm going to come back one step here and then I'm going to go into underline and I'll do a control A or maybe I'll practice my click on the first one shift click on the last one everything in between is selected I'll right click this time cut them out come back one and paste them in here it should be empty inside here and it is and now I will get rid of these now I could delete them on here okay select it delete it or just select it and press my delete key and now Jenny is back to where she was and she's ready to organize her files